so I just wanted to come in with this quick video right quick because when I tell you when I tell you how things show itself like how your dreams and goals show itself let me explain let me explain so I've always had this particular dream and goal um, in my mind in my heart I've always wanted to do this particular thing for the last 20 years. No lie. I have notes going back to 10, 15, 20 years of jotting it down. That's one thing is if I desire to do something or something comes to me, I take notes no matter where I'm at. I have my handy dandy little um, notebook right here that I will take with me everywhere and I will jot down notes. And so... um including many others but anyway so i have been thinking about this particular thing this particular dream this particular goal and i had um just it's just been on my mind it's just been messing with me i go to sleep with it on my mind i'm dreaming about it i'm waking up with it on my mind um i'm just oh it's just so much so last week last this past saturday this new particular place opened up and mind you i'm choosing my words wisely because i don't want to mention specifically what it is just yet because i'm in the beginning stages but this particular place had been open for a few months we'll say so i said mm, let me go visit this place you know chill out for a minute blah 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 i went to go visit this particular place and I go in and I thought it was just one part to it. The website shows one part or whatever. I go into it and they said that they have a second part to it in the back. So they was like, go ahead and check it out and chill out. And, you know, so I go to the back part. And when I tell you the front and the back is just what I've been in visioning and dreaming now mind you my vision and my goal and dream for what i want to do is much deeper than what this is but the setup and the way that it initially is it this is it and so god was just messing with me so while i was in there i recorded it and even in the video i was like i think god messing with me he's showing me um that when he gives you a dream or a goal and you sit on it year after year and you don't make any type of move on it somebody else somebody else gonna make a move on it somebody else is going to go after it somebody else is gonna make that dream come to fruition now you probably saying well how can they have the same dream you have I, like i said in the beginning part of my dream is what they have set up but mine goes into much more detail and much more um like community development attached to it a little hint but i'm not saying too much about what it is but anyway so i looked at it and i'm like oh my god it was just messing with me so my very closest friend i shared it with her um and i've been taking down notes been writing everything down i've been looking up just different things right about it doing some deep dive research on it looking at investments looking at business plans looking at what filings and paperwork do I have to write how much is the startup cost what does the business loan look like like what does this look like and here i am on my nine to five if you haven't guessed i'm sitting in my car on lunch lunch is about to be over in five minutes and i'm doing all this or whatever and I got a whole nine to five. <laughs> but my vision, my dream, my goal th that, you know, that God gave me is just. So I've been tripping myself out, listening to Les Brown, motivate myself. And he's been hitting it on the head. He's like, you better make a move or somebody else will. He was just giving it to your girl. And I'm like, you better say that less. And I'm just at work with my little things in listening to the motivational speeches. Nonetheless, I'm making this video 
to tell you guys that if there is something that you're trying to do or want to do, desire to do, you better make a move on it. You better go for it. Sorry if you hear the train in the background. I am sitting in my car and there's a train track um, behind me. But anyways, if you have a dream or a goal, you better start mapping it out. Starting does not mean, oh, let me go take out a loan right now. Because I think some people get intimidated by finances when they come to their dream and go, Oh, I ain't got the money to do this. Oh, I ain't got the money to do that. But starting it means getting you a notepad and start writing it out. Just start writing out your vision as you see it, no matter how big it is. I was talking to a friend of mine. I was like, it's just so big. And she was like, God probably laughing at you because it's small to him. Ugh, clutch my pearls. You said that right, girl. I know you did. But anyways, if there's a dream or a goal that you have and you want to go after, go after it. Like, do not, like, start the process just by writing it down. Get you a little notebook. It don't have to be coach, okay? Get you a little notebook and write it down. You can get your notebook from the Dollar Tree, the 99 cent store, whatever. Just get you something that is portable and you can carry with you anywhere and begin to jot down your goals concerning that dream. Go for it. Don't let it slip through your hands. Don't let it die with you. I've lost so many people in my life this past year and I'm just like, just been overwhelmed and stressed out of about life. And what am I, what am I doing with it? Where, where I'm taking myself? Like what, what toy, what? But the vision is there. So toy, you, me, don't look at the overall cost of it. Don't look at, oh my God, my whole vision is going to cost $250,000 or whatever. Don't look at that part. Mm-mm, Cause that part will scare you and deter you from your dream. Break it down into bite-sized, manageable pieces, and look at it like, let me just start jotting it down. Let me just start taking notes. How does my vision look? What does it look like? Mapping it out, just writing it down, and then looking at what type of license do you need. Um, you know, then looking out business plans. I can write my own business plan, but if you are not the type of person that can write your own there are resources out there for you re free resources too that can help you write your own business plan concerning it and i have business connections that i need to tap back into to help me with this and so what i'm saying to you and i'm saying to myself is be in wretched I'm telling you, go after your dream and goals. Oh my God, I was listening to Tab Tabitha Brown about how she got to where she is. And oh my God, she's just so amazing. And when I tell you, she let it be known. So I'm telling you, keep going, go for it. Don't give up, go for your dream and goal. And I'm going to continue to take notes. And my next step after finishing my notes or jotting down enough notes is to start this business plan and to link up with my business um connections that I have to see if I can get some assistance with this okay so mm, I don't know I just had to share be encouraged you guys go after your dreams and go bye for now because you know what your girl lunch is over I gotta go back to work mm, bye y'all